Up on top of the hill, on this terrifying stormy night, lies a wicked old castle. But inside, everything is normal as usual. The people are living just like everybody else, even though the surroundings are unusual. The couple who live here are having trouble living together. And this kind of night, which you would expect bodies to fall at you and creeping shadows seeming to follow you, would be a good time for murder. Elliot and Mary are the couple and only people who live in this large mansion. Mary, for a long time now, has been plotting to murder her husband. She has it all figured out by hiring an axe man to do away with her mate. She could have done it with a gun or knife, but she had to have it this way for some reason we do not know, as you will find out later. Her plan starts to follow through now by having all the lights go out. But there is some light, the light of the lightning flaring through the window. The plan in effect, the killer arrives and starts seeking out the victim. You can imagine how it must feel being one of three persons in a situation like this. But of course, one of them doesn't suspect a thing. By this time, the killer is stalking among the shadows in many corners, looking for his prey and looking for the right time for the beheading with axe in hand. He has to be careful who he swings that deadly weapon at because with this darkness, he could mutilate a wrong person. Elliot is wondering and searching for the cause of the blackout and in a house like this, you can really get scared. Elliot is getting nervous because he is starting to hear a few sounds which aren't usual. The killer spots his victim in a dark corner at the top of the stairs. He attacks and swings that axe with all his might and the sound of the axe slashing right through the throat is heard all throughout the darkness. A thumping noise rocks the building and the husband comes running to the sound which is coming from the staircase. He sees a head missing a body full of blood thumping down the stairs and identifies it as his wife. He goes to the phone and calls the police. Then he gets his gun from his room. He runs through the halls and up the stairs, but finds nothing except an ugly sight which starts to make him sick, but he held it in. The killer spots him, but can really do nothing except hide, because by this time, Elliot had the light situation solved. Since he had a gun, the killer stayed out of sight because the killer would not have a chance if he attacked. The killer begins to run, and Elliot spots him, shoots him down. And picks up the axe and starts chopping him into bits. The police break down the door and charge in. Elliot not thinking, just turns around and starts shooting, wounding two cops. While the cops, not knowing Elliot is the one who called, they return fire and Elliot falls to the ground lying still. He is dead. Now we leave it to the police to figure out who is who.